I don't think we truly appreciate how hard it is to navigate through society. Um, it's our biggest hurdle, our biggest obstacle. You know, it defines our entire being and our way of life. Effectively, some people are here for, with a purpose. You're here to create substantial change um, for the betterment of humanity. And then some people are here without a purpose and they live from moment to moment. And some of those people are negative and potentially evil. So we all have to blend together and live alongside each other. So when you consider it like that, um, it stands to reason that not everybody gets along. And it may be go some way to explaining why life is so chaotic, um, so turbulent, and how we all live incredibly differently, and different, have different morals, um, different lifestyles. So that makes it hard to actually blend together at times. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you've got a bigger purpose, you can see the beauty in life. You can see um, how you need to navigate, what you need to do. Um, you're not being scared to cause the waves, but you expect them to come. Um, that's, the, I think that's, that's important, isn't it? To recognise um, that what we do has consequences. Um, certainly not everybody's going to like it because like I said there's some people that are like a continuous tornado um, those people like drama um, so they'll seek that opportunity to come at you but I think when you can identify that these people exist and you, you are aware of your social position and the position of others you sort of can anticipate what's coming next um, and I think some people are fully aware of it and some people are terrified um, so they become incredibly reclusive they don't want to be part of this world um, and I think some people you know some people remove themselves entirely you know they take their life because it gets too hard um, I think that's incredibly sad so I think we just have to we have to embrace the education that is life um, I see it as we're put here for a reason um, whether our purpose is big or whether it's minor, it, 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 the purpose itself is one side of the experience. Um, so if we're here to create change and try and improve humanity, that's that's all wonderful, but that's one part of the journey. Um, the other part of the journey is what we all have to go through, you know, it's the lesson of life itself. Um, none of us are going to have it totally easy because, like I said, we're all side by side with one another. We can, We have to learn... To blend, we have to learn to be able to navigate through each other. Uh, we have to walk past each other. You don't get to choose who who is near you at all times. We don't have that luxury. No one does. Doesn't matter how rich or poor you are. You know, you have to experience everything at some point, um, and it's going to get uncomfortable. It's going to get uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I think like I say, some people just have a hard time with that. But if you just learn. Really, I think if we don't overthink it too much to the point where we do sort of end it for ourselves we just take a little pause and moment to say there's so much to this world and if life is that bad it means we've either made a mistake we've made a wrong path um, or we're surrounded by the wrong people if you're a bright light surrounded by so much negativity and hate then I think it's important to move away from that hate even if it means financial insecurity, even if it means that like, um, you're vulnerable and you're going to be, it is, it, it is going to be um, insecure for a while. I think you just, you, you, it's worth that leap of faith, that change in lifestyle, that, late, that change in society. Um, because we're not, when we're not around our like-minded people, I think we lose a part of ourselves. We learn a lot because when you're around certain things, you can learn through it because you see what you don't. What you don't agree with um, and it's, it's important life lessons but I think it's draining as well it's incredibly draining to be continuously in a situation that doesn't feel aligned um, but when we meet people who are on a similar path have a similar mindset and lifestyle choices life's more effortless it, it, it flows freely so it's about living an authentic life and eventually we align with those people 
Um, so every time you meet people that don't quite align, you, you, you learn from it and then you cut them off. Um, you move on and you continue upon your path and journey. Effectively, the more we continue upon that path, we start to meet like-minded people and we gravitate towards each other. And then you've got like a tribe of people who are you, like a friend, like a kinship, a friendship. Um, and I think that's quite, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful in itself. And it's like, we, that's how we mold society. Uh, we find our people. Uh, but yeah, we have to, but we have to be prepared to sort of walk through it. I, I see it like, um, let's, let's say you've got a bigger purpose and you've got change humanity but improve humanity but you've also got to blend it with people like i said at the start i think it's the hardest path to live um if we consider monks for example they know to keep their inner tranquility you know state of mind um don't let the world bother them in a way um be enlightened but they also keep themselves away from society so it's a lot easier to do that in the middle of nowhere because you haven't actually got anything bothering you. <laughs> it's just you've given away to temptation. You know, you've not bothered with temptation. You're not, you focus solely on sort of your, your spirituality and your mindset and being positive to yourself. Um, but it's a lot harder, I think, in a world that's chaotic. You know, if you think of it like um, you've got some people in a, a meadow with nothing around them, apart from maybe birds and things, it's quite tranquil and beautiful. And then put yourself in the middle of New York, for instance, with the cars bibbing, everybody shouting at each other. Now try and be that tranquil in the middle of that. Um, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to get frustrated at times. Um, you know, it's okay to want change. It's okay to want better. Um, because that isn't a tranquil environment, is it? That isn't that isn't a happy place. It's definitely a, um, a melting pot of um, experiences and life lessons for sure. So I think we have setbacks as we grow. Bloody as well. Um, <laughs> we have setbacks. We, we, we aren't perfect. Um, we can't expect to be perfect. Everybody's, because what? every single one of us is living a unique journey. We have similar paths, we have similar lessons, but it's all unique. So even, even sort of your brother and sister would have had unique, um, a unique life compared to yourselves, ourselves because they have different friends different experiences along their path but often we think we've done everything everyone else has done you know so that's when the jealousy comes in where you think you deserve everything someone else has got and things but it's like we've all had our own path we've all made our own choices um and it's whatever we did led us to a moment is where we're at um it's up to us to continue growing um but society in itself um it is complicated it is complicated, but it's as complicated as we make it. We can make it far more basic if we just look at it as a whole um, and learn to navigate it. Um, learn, I think adaptability is important. It's, I'm just, this is how I am. I can relate to a lot of people. I don't really look down at people. Again, I don't look up, I've said this many times. Um, we're all just on a different journey. Even if one person's journey is bigger than the other, it doesn't make you better. It just means that's what you just, that's your purpose. Um, so adapting is important. Now that doesn't mean we like everyone the same. It doesn't mean we have our, everybody's our best friend. That's not, that's naive. That's very naive. It means we have people we love, people we truly like and enjoy their company, acquaintances, and then people we put up with. Um, so the people we put up with, if we had a choice, we wouldn't be around them. But we find a way just to get through our day and make peace with them in some regards. Of course, some people are such a pain or you just genuinely don't have the same, you can't even get on on any level. Well, I say, you just, you just, you just block them out of your mind, really. They let them do what they're doing. You don't need to interfere with them. Um, have as minimal contact as possible. That's absolutely fine. Um, that's what I do. So we have, we understand people are in categories without defining them. We don't walk around saying that one's in that case. You just instinctively know. This one I really like, this one I love, this one I'm putting up with because I know I'm putting up with them. Um, again, if I, didn't, if I had a choice, I, they wouldn't be there. Um, that's how we navigate through it all. Um, but yeah, because we can't, we can't always expect to just have our favourite people around us. First of all, there's no, there's no um, experience and lesson, life lesson within it. Um, and we don't get to be a puppet master. 
we can remove ourselves from situations, but that doesn't mean the next situation isn't going to have similar people in it. Um, I don't, we, you know, we're never going to be that blessed. For instance, um, you could create a living situation where it's just your favourite people. You know, and I think that's really what we're looking for, isn't it? You don't want to be butting heads having arguments at home. If you are, then I think it, it's leading towards the fact that we probably maybe, maybe thought they were our people, um, but we've grown apart. And it's a, at some point, it's going to be to a point where you're just putting up with each other. So the, so the category is changing. Um, and then you're moving. Maybe maybe then you're looking for your, your new person, really, that make you happy again. Um, so that's in relationships. But of course... Let's say it was a happy home, a happy life. You still have to navigate the world together. So even if it's just not even one of you, you're in a group, you still have to go to the cinema, maybe go out for something to eat, um, go to the park. You don't get to pick and choose who's going to be there. You know, it's just, you got to have, it's just, we have to learn to navigate around each other and not be consumed um, by what others are doing. Um, it's being ambivalent to it to some degree. I mean, some people want to educate people all the time, and um, let's say someone's doing something wrong, they want to tell them off and tell them. you don't know these people. First of all, you don't. So you have to respect the dangers that are in, it, in everything as well. Um, sometimes, sometimes, well, some, sometimes it's good to speak up, but sometimes what someone's doing is none of our business. Um, and I think it's understanding that. Like I said, just it's. The problem is a lot of people have think everybody has the same morals as them, the ideals. Um, and some people are so self-righteous, they think they can just dominate everybody. And that's, it's just so naive and simple-minded. Um, you know, you can't always change everyone. Not everyone can be inspired for change. Um, and some people are just downright evil. So you could have the best of intentions and try and tell someone, don't do this. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, stop it. And you could then become a victim of that, that person because that person is unhinged um, and they have no um, value for life. You know, they don't care about life itself. So they're not going to value your life if they don't like value their own. So that's a dangerous situation. And I think it's, it's understanding that again, that's the gift of understanding life and society. Um, if you think you're better than someone else, you're going to come up against someone that's really going to have a problem. Um, and how do you how do you adjust around that? So it's not for us to um, police the world. It's not for us to say, don't do this, don't do that. You know, Sometimes it's about just carrying on on your journey, carrying on your path. Um, and I don't think that's being weak. I think it's just being smart. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, about, it's survival really, isn't it? We're in a state of survival sometimes. Um, do you, how much do you value life? That's important, isn't it? Because, like, for instance, you've got a purpose. Let's say you've got a purpose, you've got goals to achieve, um, and you want to do so much within this time period of your life. How much do you want to risk that? What is worth the risk of it? Um, so, for instance, let's say you've got 20 things you want to achieve. You've achieved five, you've still got 15 to achieve. Now, you want to be so self righteous that you tell someone, stop doing this, stop doing that, and there's a risk to your life. That maybe you didn't see, but there's a risk there, an inherent risk there anyway. Um, and something happens, um, and now you're, you're um, there's a chance you might not live, and you won't get to finish those fifteen things. You maybe only finish five. There would be um, there would be a fear that you never achieved everything you set out to do. I think that's a horrible thing to have on a deathbed. And then you've got to consider the fact that what was the circumstance that caused this issue? Was it avoidable? And for the most part, in that situation, of course it was avoidable. Had you just focused on your own path, not trying to dominate other people, you'd have carried on living to create the things you were creating um, and you'd have had a more fulfilling and uh, longer life. So there's a balance to it all. You know, it's not for us to police the world, but we can educate and inspire, but I think we have to do it within our own lane. Um, it's another lesson I learned was I used to try and help people directly, try and heal them, support them, but they take um, kind. A lot of people take kindness as a weakness, and then they drain the life out of you. Um, so a lesson I learned was not to necessarily help people directly anymore because my time is so limited, and I'm and I just get drained anyway. I've got enough to achieve. So I lead by example and try and inspire. 
And that means I don't, there's no dominance. I don't have to do anything in someone's life to tell them, do this, do that, be this and be that. It's a case of, this is how I live my life. This is what I'm doing. If you want to have similar results, then maybe consider what I'm doing, but it's up to you to live your own life. I'm staying in my own lane in that way. Um, and I think that's similar to that. That's similar to that. Um, not bothering other people with whatever they're doing because we live our own path, you know, why ideals are not someone else's ideals. Um, so we, don't, we, we hold ourselves accountable in different directions, I think. But yeah, it's about us navigating situations, removing ourselves from toxic situations, places where we're unhappy, maybe dangerous, um, and living a life that's aligned with us. It's not that simple, it's really not, because you can have family, you can have friends who like similar things, but are still not quite the same. Um, like I have a family member who's funny, um, very similar minded to me at times, but then absolutely wild and too much for me, far too crazy for my liking and drives me crazy when they get like that. Um, and it's like, I can't be around them. They've got no, um, they lack self control, but they also have a very naivety to life where first of all, they think everyone wants to be around them, which I think is, you know, the right people want to be around you, but some people find it absolutely irritating. Um, second of all, no regard for their own safety. They seem to think they're invincible, like nothing's going to happen. So they're going to put themselves in situations where you're going to say, that's incredibly dangerous. Um, what the hell are you planning there? You know, so I don't understand that. And I'm not going to follow a crazy person into, a, into my oblivion, you know, <laughs> and that's just it. It's just, you have to have an awareness really of life society our position within it and you know the, the inherent dangers that exist in life because like I say not everyone's the same some people just have nothing to lose and someone that has nothing to lose is incredibly dangerous um, because they don't hold they won't hold themselves to the same um, accountability as we as we hold ourselves at times so their life isn't has less mean they have less importance on their life or anyone's life they don't value life itself um, and again, everybody has their own um, beliefs too. So there's like some people have um, beliefs of saints and positive things. Um, and then some people are incredibly dark and they have sinister beliefs. So again, society is quite complicated and it's quite remarkable when you really think about it. It's like we was all put here for a purpose and it was literally to navigate this world and try and find the beauty within it as well, but learn the life lessons. It's just so much in it when you actually break it down. And um, life is, it can be fun in that regard because it's really boring. It's boring as we make it, but really when you consider the fact that if someone gets to an old age and they're still smiling, I'd say, what a remarkable life they've led. How the hell did they manage that? Um, to get to the end and be smiling, you know, through that, you know, beautiful. Um, because they get it, they get it. Um, I think you just got to learn to appreciate people for who they are and understand that some people carry trauma and some people process trauma differently too. So some people, everyone's different. Some people are negative in, in, naturally, but some people have been, maybe maybe they've processed um, circumstances different, they've experienced it through experiences and then they uh, they carry that trauma with them. And like I say, some people will try to inspire through trauma and some people become angry and bitter through trauma. and they lose their identity and become lost to this world. I think so. that's that's sad, isn't it? Uh, but we've got to try not to lose ourselves. Try to inspire ourselves. And if we can inspire ourselves, maybe along the way we can inspire others. But I think we're not, not, not be so hard on ourselves because if society is this complicated, it's very rare to find perfection. You know, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to get frustrated. We're going to get angry. We're going to get emotional. But that's the whole point of life, isn't it? To, to, to experience the broad range of emotions. If everything was supposed to be perfect, we'd all be singing and dancing every day. Um, but where's the lesson in it? You know, what you can't, I wrote about this in my book, you can't find empathy um, and forgiveness without, without, without trauma, really. You're going to have to go through those dark moments to appreciate the light moments and then... Um, have sympathy for others that go through similar. So it's just, 
we experience to um, to grow and, and evolve. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on the fact that uh, society is remarkable and we try not to lose ourselves within it because um, it is quite easy to get lost. <laughs>